IT is tough working for Jose Mourinho, just ask Nemanja Matic. But the Serbian midfielder has told his Manchester United teammates that if they want to be winners, that is exactly how it must be. Matic was the only one to be showered with praise on Saturday as United boss Mourinho laid into his underperforming stars for their lacklustre 2 0 FA Cup quarter final victory over Brighton. Imagine what would have happened if they had lost. For Matic, who also played under Mourinho at Chelsea, it is the price you pay for the manager you choose. And he believes United have the right man at the helm if they want to win trophies. Matic, 29, said he is special because he wants to win always. You can see when we lose a game that he cannot accept it. Probably that's why he has won more than 20 trophies in his life. It is very difficult to work with him because he always wants more and more. Even if you win the league he wants to win it again next season. He is like this and the players need to be ready for that. At this high level at Manchester United, and where I used to play at Chelsea, the players need to be ready for that because the pressure is big. I like when the manager always wants better and better, so you have to improve always and do your best. I like this kind of work, this kind of relationship. I'm happy. Sure he is particularly after setting up one for Amelia Lukaku and scoring another on Saturday. Other players will not be. However, following Mourinho's post-match outburst where he raged at just about everyone bar Matic, and in particular Luke Shure. The strategy has backfired at Real Madrid and during his second stint at Chelsea, when he began to out the players for underperforming and they downed tools. And Mourinho admitted on Saturday that he was taking a risk. He added my calculation is that without pressure they don't perform well, so what can I lose? Well, his job for one thing but we are nowhere near that point. What Mourinho is doing now is publicly challenging his players to raise their game. He has spent 18 months protecting them, often talking about the squad in gushing terms. Not anymore. Players can hide on the pitch if you know your manager is going to be shouldering the blame. This is particularly the case if you know he has a seemingly constant battle against an army of detractors. Despite his considerable achievements. Now Mourinho has effectively told United fans that he is doing his bit, but many of his players are not keeping their end of the bargain. It is time for them to face the music. So while 48 hours of vintage Mourinho has brought plenty of criticism. Is he really wrong to express these feelings, and is he really doing such a bad job? The Portuguese won two trophies in his first season and has overseen a jump from fifth in the Premier League last season to second now. There is at least one trip to Wembley to look forward to with a place in the last four of the FA Cup. Look at that and you can see why the criticism irks him so much. There is no doubt he got it very wrong in the Champions League loss to Sevilla on Tuesday. Yet much of what he said on Friday in his 12 minute defence of himself was spot on. United have not been troubling Europe obsolete for seven years now. Sir Alex Ferguson had some chockers in Europe too and admitted that three European Cup wins was not enough for a club of this size. The problem is everyone remembers the good times and believes that is always how it was. Nobody has a DVD of the United 2004-06 The Rubbish Years apostrophe. It is the drama and cavalier football that all who admire this club seem to want to remember. Set against what is happening down the road at the Etihad Stadium. Performances like Saturday's are drab. Let us not forget, however, that while City boss Pep Guardiola can do no wrong with his beautiful game, he was handed an infinitely better starting point with his squad. It was only a week ago that we were talking about an excellent United performance against Liverpool in which Mo Salah was silenced. That came on the back of thrilling comebacks against Chelsea and Crystal Palace. Now the dark clouds are gathering once again. It is probably as well there is an international break now. Everyone, players, fans, pundits and, yes, the manager can calm down and take stock dot and win.